guys, we are here with Krishan Lampley, CEO of Love Corp Screw, a wine company based here in Chicago. How are you doing, ma'am? I'm doing great. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Tell us how you came up with the concept. Oh, Love Corp Screw. Love Corp Screw started uh, years ago, back in 2009. Um, it was actually a blog first. Mm -hmm. It was a blog that became a radio show, a radio show that became uh, Bottles on the Shelf. So uh, definitely years in the making. 60,000 bottles sold, wow. uh, but it definitely was a concept from just being in the industry for so long. And I knew that uh, being an African-American woman in this industry was needed. So. Absolutely. <laughs> and I'm glad your presence is here, definitely, because you are definitely inspiring young female entrepreneurs of color. And tell us about some of the names that you come up with. I just love the names of the wines. Yes, yeah, so the names. I have Head Over Heels, which is my Riesling. Uh, my Concord is Hard Knock Life. Niagara Touch the Sky, my Cabernet Sauvignon is We're Moving On Up, and Good Times, Good Friends, and my Pinot Grigio. It was simply based on the fact that the number one reason why people buy wine is the label, number two, the price, number three, the taste. So I wanted the label to stick out because there's just so many bottles on a shelf. Right. Uh, and I wanted Love Corks to stick out, and I think it does. <laughs> and what's your favorite? Oh gosh, We're Moving On Up. I'm a Cabernet Sauvignon girl. So okay. That, that's my baby. That's my pride and joy. I've sold out of that vintage uh, about six times now, so I, I can't. I, I think I, I got it right. Very good. <laughs> and which one of your wines comes from the vineyards in Michigan? So actually two of them. My Pinot Grigio, which is the Good Times Good Friends, and my uh, Riesling. There's some beautiful vineyards uh, in the Midwest that people just don't know exist. There's right. over 50 in the state of Illinois that people don't know that exist. Okay. So I wanted to give uh, them a shout out. I wanted to make sure that that uh, the company pays homage to these amazing, amazing Midwest uh, varietals, and I think I, I nailed it. Krishan, thank you so much for inviting us into your home. And guys, we're about to taste some wine. So today we're gonna to taste some great Michigan wines. Uh, these are two that I sourced from Michigan, and I thought this is great for a summertime theme. So we're gonna do one dry and one sweet. Um, we're gonna do my Pinot Grigio, which is Good Times, Good Friends, and my Riesling, which is Head Over Heels. So Good Times, Good Friends is an absolutely amazing Pinot Grigio that I source because usually Pinot Grigios tend to be somewhat overly acidic. So I wanted a Pinot Grigio that was easy, drinkable, crisp, um, it has a top note of a little apple, a little top note of pear as well. Um, and it's just an absolutely delicious, dry, summertime Pinot Grigio. So we're gonna toast to uh, good times, good friends. Cheers. <laughs> so this again is my Pinot Grigio that I sourced from Michigan. Uh, this one is a just delicious, crisp Pinot Grigio. I always like it, of course, super, super chilled. Uh, but we're actually gonna taste it slightly lukewarm because the great thing about this is you're gonna be able to really see that it's not overly acidic. And when I say that, a lot of times uh, people think that when they're drinking a good Pinot Grigio or one that's slightly over acidic that they always have to pair it with something. Mm -hmm. You don't always have to pair Pinot Grigio if it's done right. So uh, this is good times, good friends. So to good times, good friends. That's right. <laughs> Yum, so imagine that really, really cold. But you see how it doesn't have that ridiculous bite that some That's Pinot Grigio right. has. It's, it's just so light clean. and simple. Yes. That's what I wanted. Mm. Exactly. Clean. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so this is my Head Over Heels Semi-Sweet Riesling. It says sweet on the label, um, as I legally have to put that on the label, but it actually is a semi-sweet. It's going to have a top note of grapefruit and a little bit of lemon zest. Grapefruit. So grapefruit, yes. Okay. This one is a really, really fun Riesling. So you know how some Rieslings tend to be either extremely dry or extremely sweet? Mm -hmm. I wanted something to be right in between. I wanted to have a nice uh, Christmas and light lightness to it, if that's a word. Um, and I wanted it to be great um, also to make a wonderful sangria. Uh, I'm known for my sangria and uh, yeah, and my Riesling is just delicious within the sangria. Would you suggest this for going out on a picnic with a loved one? Please. Uh, think about it. Uh, your, your Rieslings are great because they're very romantic. Mm -hmm. uh, and I always tell this really fun tale that actually Riesling is one of the number one varietals across the world. It's us Americans that don't look at Riesling as, as a great, great varietal. Okay. A, it's normally the color. People just think that Riesling is just this ugly color, but it's absolutely delicious. So that's why I decided to put it in a different bottle. I wanted it to look a lot more romantic. I thought it was a red wine. A lot of people do, yes, yes. So I purposely did that um, to show the romance. 
right. um, have it in a different shape bottle than the Riesling normally is, and call it Head Over Heels. So of course it's great for picnics and, and fun just being outside and, and eating your, your salads and, and chicken and different things like that that Riesling right. pairs with. So pasta. Summertime in Chicago, baby. <laughs> Get your Riesling on here. So cheers to uh, Head Over Heels. <laughs> chin chin. I see it has that just little slight sweetness. So it's it wonderful because dry lovers respect it, sweet lovers enjoy it. So uh, it is just like that perfect epitome of that simple, easy, right in between garage to enjoy. And uh, that's number one at Mariano's. Krishan, while we sip on this wine, Tell us about the other products you have in Target. Yes, so actually Love Corkscrew uh, is, my, my company, the basis of it is Indulgence Knows No Boundaries. So I want to cover all five senses. So when I developed wine, I said, all right, not everybody drinks wine. So what can I come up with that somebody would actually buy? Another point of sale, right? Another purchase. So. It was just naturally innate that I said candles. I said wine scented candles. And the crazy thing was Target does so great in candles that when I presented the line to them, I actually was just presenting the wine. And they're like, wait a minute, you have candles? I'm like, yes. We've sold over 4,000 candles in three Target locations. And they're flying off the shelf, all 100% uh, soy. Um, they're all wine scented except for one bonus candle, which is the perfect man, which is selling out stores like crazy. Lastly, I said I wanted that kind of trifecta. I wanted one more product that actually fits the brand that makes sense. I don't want to be that beauty sh uh, shop with a pet store and sell handbags. I want to have something that really completes my company. So I knew that I'm really into body butters. Yes. Um, and I wanted to do wine scented, duh, right? Yes. So uh, I actually had a purveyor uh, produce some for me that are all completely uh, amazing homemade ingredients, everything is all natural. Um, and actually we came up with a four with a bonus one of the Perfect Man because the Perfect Man candle sold so well. Mm -hmm. I knew I had to come up with the Perfect That's Man right. body butter. Yeah. So I decided to do something fun. I decided to create body butter scents that I wouldn't necessarily do in a varietal. Okay. I'm not one to say that I was going to produce a, a Bordeaux uh, or a Moscato or a Rosé. Mm -hmm. So I said, why don't I do that within the collection of body butters? Just like the candles. I don't have a Chardonnay, so I did a Chardonnay candle and a white Zinfandel mm -hmm. candle. So these are great. They've been selling like crazy. I just introduced these last week. Okay. Um, these are right now um, exclusively online. Mm -hmm. um, but I do have uh, some big box stores that are coming after me for them right now. But I think I'm going to keep them exclusive for a little bit. They're great. Um, I'm actually wearing it now. That's why I'm all shiny now. Um, oh, and they feel good. Please, please. So this one is Moist Moscato. Okay. Um, all natural again products. Um, this is the eight ounce uh, container of it. I have a four ounce as well. And it just feels so it good. Feels Doesn't it feel good. Feel great? <laughs> <laughs> They're just amazing. So I have Moscato. I have the Body Bordeaux Rubbing Rosé. Um, ecstasy uh, as well as the scent of a perfect man. Oh, and it smells so good. All right, so tell me about the scent of a perfect man. What does it smell like? Oh my gosh, it smells like the perfect man. Ooh. So this one actually is so funny. I created it as a candle at first, okay. and I knew that when it was flying off the shelf as a candle to men and women, mm -hmm. that I have to create it in a body butter. And same thing, it's a great unisex scent, but men go crazy over this, so please. It's just me see. a just wonderful, masculine, spicy oh, scent to it. So nice. Like a perfect man. Oh my so, god. So kind of like me. Yes, here we gotta get you some of this. Oh man, this is going on. Can I have some more? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> guys I want to thank Krishan Lampley so much for inviting us into her home and sampling some of these wonderful summer wines and guys make sure you check out some of these body butters get some of these candles as well they're in Target you can't miss them and guys make sure you get Love Corkscrew at Mariano's Target Kimbark Kenwood and also at Whole Foods guys some of the best wines you're gonna have this summer And you need to thank the black foodies for turning you on to something fantastic and with that said guys. We're out Later Bye.